Crawfish are great to fish with, plastic crawfish this time of the year. What's something you can do that will really enhance your fish catching ability with just a little plastic craw? Good morning guys and girls, February 16, February 16, we have some weather coming in. That's what they're saying, warm right now. Windy, windy, windy. I'm doing my best to stay out of the wind, but I'm telling you, it's blowing pretty good and it's gaining all the time. First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 17. Now they notice this is two verses, but it's only five words, but they're powerful, powerful. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. Telling us two things to redo. One, rejoice always. Two, pray without ceasing. Let's see what I wrote about that because this is really, really an interesting one. Wintertime fishing can be brutal, but a real fisherman goes no matter what. And he or she will have a good time regardless of the weather and whether the fish are biting or not. You know, we've had two or three spectacular days, getting ready to turn sour, getting ready to turn sour. Supposed to have thunderstorms a little bit later. I'm telling you what, I'm ready for them, thunderstorms. Uh, and we are supposed to have rain. We need rain. Supposed to have snow happening at the same time here in Oklahoma. We can be snowing in Oklahoma, a little old bitty state like us, snowing in Oklahoma and having tornadoes at the same time. Uh, and we go fishing, know whether we catch fish or not. That's what we do. I actually went fishing a couple days ago. Chris was uh, going to take a nap, and so I laid her down. She went to sleep real quick, and I told her, I said, I'm going to go put my boat in the water and fish a couple hours, which I did. I fished two hours. I saw one fish on my Garmin live scope. I caught it in about a four pound bass. I saw it swimming in about seven or eight feet deep over about 20 foot of water. I had a jig in my hand. I threw a jig by it, swam by the fish, ran over and grabbed it, and I caught it. Great. The only fish I saw, the only bite I had. Uh, just unbelievable, unbelievable. But I had a great time. I had a great time catching that one fish. See, that wind is gaining by the second, it seems like. Today's verse captures one of the many, many times that Paul told Christians to continually be happy. Continually be happy. That's what he told them. To always have a smile on your face and to always, always enjoy life. Life is precious. Life is precious. It can end in a heartbeat. It will end in a heartbeat. But we need to be happy, always have a smile on our face, and always enjoy life. Here's the killer deal about this thing. He wrote most of these encouraging words from prison. That's right. He was locked up in prison. Should we really live our lives this way? Should we do that? Always rejoicing? Absolutely. Absolutely we should. How can we do this when life throws so much bad at us? You know, I'm praying for a lot of you right now because you're having circumstances happen in your life that's bad. No doubt about it. We have a circumstance that Chris and I have been going through the last 10 months that's bad, terrible, horrible. But we still rejoice every day. We rejoice every day. We do this by praying thankful prayers, continually thanking God, thanking God, thanking God, thanking God. You keep thanking God, you keep praising Him, your heart will well up with what God gives you. And you will get through these bad circumstances with a smile on your face, with a gleam in your eye, and you can always be happy. Thanking God. We pray a prayer that perseveres through bad circumstances. You hear that? We pray a prayer that perseveres through these bad circumstances. We do it with a glad heart that refuses, absolutely refuses to have a pity party. We are not going to say, poor pitiful me, woe is me, why did this happen to me? We're just not going to do that. As a believer of Jesus Christ, as a born again, chosen by God Christian, we're simply not going to do that. Yeah, we're going to feel bad. Yeah, we're going to feel like we've been kicked in the head. We're going to be, feel like we've been kicked in places worse than kicked in the head. We're going to be brought to our knees. But we're going to thank God, thank God, thank God, praise Him, and we're not going to have a pity party. Paul was in prison when he wrote this, but he knew that he had victory in Christ. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Yeah, you and I have that very same victory. 
You and I have that very same victory. And I don't know where you are right now. You may be in prison listening to this right now. But rejoice. Most of us are not. Most of us are not. We're not in prison. And we have a lot to rejoice about. Yeah, we have a lot we can have a pity party about if we want to, but we're not going to do that. We're going to pray continually. We're going to rejoice always, and we're going to pray without ceasing. And we're going to pray thanking God, thanking God, thanking God. Here's our tip for today, and this is a great one. This is a great one right here. This has caught me so many fish. Dip the tips of soft plastic crawfish in chartreuse spike it dipping glow to add both color and scent. Dip and dye, dip and glow, that's exactly right. Spike it, spike it, spike it, dip and dye. You add color and scent, and I like garlic. I know that there's nothing that swims around there in the lake that smells like garlic, but garlic seems to work really, really well. By the way, we're reading from our Catch a Better Life book. This is our new daily devotional. Uh, you can pre-order this book, jimmyhouston.com, or give us a call, 457-918-457. 5115. Uh, we're taking pre-orders. We should be getting these books in any day now. It's just going to, I know sometime here in February, we're going to be getting them in and we're going to be uh, signing those that you want personalized and autographed and getting them out to you just as quickly as we can. Uh, we've got, I think about 800 on pre-order right now that, uh, that are spoken for. So you're down on that list. If you're on that list, you'll be getting your books just as quickly as we get them in. We'll start sending them out. Uh, I think they're $17.99. If you buy Two or more, they're $15 a piece. So a uh, really good deal on that. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, pray without ceasing, rejoice always, 